Welcome back to Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Three Months of Modal Logics, a sequel to 100 Days of Logic or Logic 201 with a bonus video. This video is going to be on tautology and contradiction notation. I'm calling it a bonus video because it's not exactly on the subject of deontic logic per se, but these concepts are going to be very useful not only for deontic logic, but for our understanding of logic as a whole. So, Tautology and contradiction notation are going to rest on these two symbols here. So if you've ever seen either of these symbols and didn't know what it means, this kind of right side up block T or the upside down block T, here's where we're going to learn about them. So, tautology. Often in logic we want to represent all logical truths, all tautologies, all as one, without having to say or explain we're talking about all logical truths or all tautologies of a particular system. We do so by using the following symbol. It's kind of a block T that looks like that. For example, if we wrote box T, that would mean that all logical truths are necessary. It might be an axiom or a statement you would include in an alethic modal logic of sorts. The point is that T, this T, is representing all logical truths. Similarly, we want a convenient notation to stand for all contradictions. And we're going to represent all logical contradictions naturally with the opposite of what we're representing all tautologies with. So we're going to represent it with an upside down T. This kind of looks like a, I don't know, cannon pointing into the air or what have you. It's an upside down T. Basically, it's going to be the logical symbol for all contradictions. So if we wrote tilde diamond upside down t, that would be it's not the case that logical contradictions are possible. Or there's no possible world in which logical contradictions are the case. Just as our right side up t stood for all tautologies, the upside down t is going to stand for all contradictions. Up next, we are going to use our newfound notation to talk about the omissibility of contradictions axiom, the second axiom we're putting into our deontic logic. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and watch a video on different kinds of modal logic for this month and the next two with our series, Three Months of Modal Logics. Stay skeptical, everybody.